fun of games and jokes on social media. But this shit is dangerous. But we love it. Hey y'all, what's up? Chad Wright coming at you here once again on the channel, Team Rices. Got my riding partner Kylie here with me. Hi. Y'all making see her over here. So anyways, we just got the car washed here at the local car wash and about to pull out and do some driving. So I wanted to thank some of y'all like down in the comments, y'all have been, uh, you know, commenting on the videos and giving me a lot of feedback on the videos and stuff. And it's truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, so thank all of y'all that's been uh, commenting, asking different questions. I'm happy to answer those questions. And somebody uh, asked me a question about doing the things that I like about the car and don't like about the car since I've had it. Uh, so the other two videos that are gonna come out after this will be after this here. They actually were recorded before this video right here was anyway so today i've got 6600 miles on it already this is like my third week owning it technically i guess fourth maybe uh but i've uh i bought it on april the 30th picked it up on may the 2nd and today is may 28th so i've had it for 26 days so we're going on almost four weeks now uh having it i've driven it three weeks up in nashville doing rides here uh so i definitely have been able to start driving it and start to learn the things that I like and don't like about the car. So I made a, made a list of five things and then I added something else to it. So uh, anyways, we're gonna go over some of those things here. So number one thing I like, um, I really like the, the cruise control. Uh, not only do, you know, does it work, and which is a fantastic thing to be able to have is cruise control, but what I like about the cruise control is that it will pace the vehicle in front of me. So, say you're on a road that speed limit is, you know, 45 mile per hour. So, set the cruise at 50. And then if the car in front of you is doing, say, 47, then you will do 47 mile per hour at a good safe distance behind them. Uh, if they just really want to drive slow, but you're not in a zone where you can pass them at. And I get very frustrated getting stuck behind people. So, the easiest thing for me to do now is just let my foot off the pedal, let the car do the driving. And I just got to let it, you know, pace them until I get to a zone where I can pass them at safely. So if somebody's doing, say, 38 and a 45, you know, I just let the car sit there and cruise at that speed until I get into a passing zone again. And then it's able to, uh, and then I'm able to pass them, you know, and really, really quickly too, uh, because, sorry, fairly quickly too, uh, because, you know, the car's got definitely good power, good get up and go, uh, and it moves out pretty good. So, like I said, not nothing super fast and shock the world fast and all that over there, but, It'll definitely get around somebody if it needs to. Well, number two thing, uh, number two thing that I got here is it gets great fuel economy. Uh, so I've already done a fuel economy video and y'all have seen that. And uh, I'm also gonna do a list of, you know, five to six things or whatever of things that I don't like about the car. And I'll probably touch on this same thing again there. But as of right now, like I said, I wanna comment on the thing that I do like about it is the great fuel economy that it does get. And with that being said, like compared to any other vehicle I've driven before, great fuel economy. You know, I'm getting 40 plus miles per gallon in this car. Uh, the 2014 Toyota Corolla I was driving before, which is a great fuel economy car. And it's not, uh, it's a smaller car, so it doesn't take as much energy to get it going. So it gets better fuel economy. With it, I was getting anywhere between 20, 26 to 29 miles per gallon uh driving up in nashville and it would vary of course depending on how i drove 
and but it actually got a little bit worse once we put the tires on there that we put on there uh which was like midway through me driving it and borrowing it from the gentleman i was borrowing from before uh so but with that car there i was getting you know mid to high 20 miles per gallon uh where this car right here is getting low to mid 40 miles per gallon so i'm doing <clears throat> doing better fuel economy with this car right here by a long shot and it's been able to like super uh, really helped me very well as far as getting great fuel economy uh, and I do ride share and like I said I've had the car for three weekends in Nashville now and I've already put in 6,600 miles driving it so I've definitely put in a lot of miles. Alright so number three is the lighting uh, so the headlights great headlights uh, you know cars have come a long ways as far as the way headlights you know work perform and you're able to see with them uh, very good and I've had motorcycles and converted them from halogen to LEDs and didn't like it and actually ended up converting back. And then I started learning about how headlights work and the reason why that didn't work. Uh, and what that is for most people is when you use LED lights and you put them into a halogen headlight housing, that halogen headlight housing is designed for the halogen bulb to spread the light out the way it needs to be spread out for halogen to be able to perform best. When you put an LED in there, it doesn't work the same. It's not the same kind of light, so it's not doing the same thing. So this car here, LED lights, or it, they may be HIDs. The way they come on, they kind of look like an HID, but they may be LEDs. I'm pretty sure they are. But either way, <clears throat> when they come on, like I said, you can see great with them. They perform very well, and you know, a super clean white light that you can see with it and i can see really good at night with them uh, and then whenever i'm driving on the road at night and there's nobody in front of me the headlights automatically turn on the bright lights uh, and then whenever i come up behind somebody or somebody starts coming towards me on the other direction then that automatically dim so to me you know this is a really cool feature uh you know and i've driven uh i've driven one other vehicle in the past for uh before that had that so my aunt has a uh f-150 or actually they got they got two of my aunt and uncle uh they've got f-150s and they both drive the same way they both have auto dimming lights on them so i've already experienced this in the past but it's really cool to actually have a vehicle myself that does it and it's very like i said very helpful to be able to see really good because you got the bright lights on and then you don't accidentally forget to turn them off whenever you come up on somebody and blind somebody and if any of y'all ever been in Nashville you'll realize that everybody else rides around their bright lights on and I don't even think it's because they're on you know turning them on and forgetting the demo or whatever they just refuse to turn them off you can turn your bright lights on and they're still gonna leave theirs on it's the only place I've ever seen people do that but anyways enough talking bad about Nashville all right so number four I'm actually uh gonna kind of read this right here off because it's uh, a good little bit I wrote down on this one but number four is the acoustic glass so the XLE and the XSE are the only two models that has this but they have acoustic glass I'm pointing at it here I'm not sure if you can see it in the video uh, but it's got acoustic glass and it's basically a sound deadening glass that actually makes it much quieter in here so uh, yeah, the acoustic glass makes the ride extremely quiet uh, this one here actually impressed me, you know, whenever I've seen videos about it. Of course, the ones that you see in the videos of the professionals reviewing these cars, they all drive XSEs or XLEs whenever they test them because, you know, they um, that's just what the brand's going to put out there. They want to put out the best whenever they put it out there. <clears throat> I just happen to have an XSE, so it's, you know, of course, I've got that when I'm able to talk about it. But... I haven't driven an LE or SE in the 2025, but I did drive a 2021 uh, LE Camry. I drove a 2024 Corolla uh, whenever I was test driving those before I ended up picking this car right here. And they sound like every other car when I drove them. They were just as loud road noise wise and everything else. You could hear the motor noise, all this other stuff. This car here is much much quieter and to the point that even when my mother drove the car to her she said it was too quiet because she didn't know what to expect like she doesn't hear the things you're used to normally hearing like going on the highway you don't hear other people around you as much and it's not to the point that you can't hear anything so it's definitely not like unsafe and you're not going to you know know anybody's around you or hear somebody's horn honking it's just that it's much quieter 
compared to most of the vehicles. It just kills a lot of the road noise and it's really, really impressive the, the way that it works. Uh, it has definitely been one of the best things I've enjoyed about it, <clears throat> especially coming from, I used to drive big trucks and just going from a big truck to driving a regular car, like it's tremendous to be able to tell the difference of not hearing all that noise that you hear when you're going down the road. Uh, when I used to drive big trucks, the noise from the engine was so loud and the wind noise was so loud around you like you have headsets and you can't really tell that like how loud the headset is because of all the noise that's going on around you so you've got to uh you know you just, it's really loud and you're able to hear them and everything now whenever you come out of that truck and you get into a car or a pickup truck or anything like that there and you got that same headset on and you continue your conversation or talk to somebody some other time you'll realize how loud that headset really is. Or if you get out of the truck or park the truck and have that headset on, you'll start turning the volume down because of how loud it is. So so it's sort of like that right there, but like I said, it's to the point of, it goes from the other extreme of an already quiet vehicle compared to a big truck to a much quieter vehicle that's just a normal vehicle that you would drive every day. So like I said, to me, that was just super impressive uh, to be able to deal with or to be able to have uh, because I'm in this thing right here a lot. I put, you know, and easily and easily easily put in you know 350 to 450 miles a day with this car and uh so being in it so much you know you start to realize you know the little things that have been upgraded on this car compared to every other car i've driven in the past oh number five um and i believe i had all these numbers in order earlier but i may have messed them up but anyways so the fifth thing that we got to talk about here is the seat so this thing being the xsc model has heated leather seats in it uh they've got these little bitty holes and stuff in them i think that's if you do happen to get the cooled seats as well mine just doesn't happen to have cooled seats but it does have heated seats so yeah so the uh the heated leather seats is like really, really important for me like one is just being heated uh once winter time comes around leather seats when it's cold very very uh unpleasant to sit on especially uh if you got like thin pants on or something like that right there uh so <clears throat> i'll be able to have the heated seats on whenever i go through the app and have the car start it uh before i go out back to the car and <clears throat> the leather seats the important part of that is is that i've got um leather seats in case somebody spills anything in here doing rides here people get in here sometimes with food and drinks and stuff and yes i can put stickers on the car and say you can't have food and drinks in here but unfortunately that's how you lose one a few rides that are kind of unnecessary to lose because generally i really don't have people spilling stuff in here they just can but they normally don't uh but this thing right here the only thing is i can complain about those little bitty holes and stuff that are in there somebody got in here the other night and i'm guessing they were sitting uh like in the grass somewhere or whatever so it's got some mud and dirt and stuff or whatever that's gotten down into those little holes so I've got to go in there now, like with say a toothpick or something like that out there and push that stuff out there out to get it out. Cause I was trying to wipe it up with a cloth and the cloth won't get inside of there to get it out. So I get that out. But to me, uh, these seats right here being, they're completely leather, uh, where the SCs come with uh, their soft tech. So it's a sort of a form of leather, but it's more like pleather, I guess. And it also has cloth in the seats as well. So. So part of it's leather and part of it is uh, cloth, and I just didn't want that at all. Like to me, they had to be fully leather because I don't want anything in here that can get stained and then stay in there forever. Uh, so, and as you can see here, like as I'm showing you in the video, you know the difference in the seats that are in my car, and I went to you know another video, and I'm showing y'all here now uh, what the seats look like in the other video. So some of the soft tech seats and stuff, what they look like so anyways so that, there's the fifth thing that uh that i like about it uh another thing touching back on the cruise control thing too from earlier is whenever you have the cruise going as long as you got lines on the road and i mentioned this in one of my first videos uh is it will kind of steer for you uh so really really good uh it's kind of a great great safety feature to have uh that way you can kind of drive down the road or whatever and it handles handles it for you 
uh, in a sense, like I said, but it only does it for like 10 seconds before it starts warning you to put your hands back on the wheel. So you do still have to keep putting input into it, but it does really good to be able to help you out, especially if you, we all do other things while we're driving sometimes. Sometimes we got kids, we got to help them with something while we're doing something, whatever it may be. Uh, sometimes you got to ease away with your eyes from the road for a second, and that's where that right there can really help out at. Not that I recommend that or suggest that. If you go crash and die, don't go blaming Team Righteous. We're not responsible for any of that. So anyways, uh, so that was the fifth thing. And then now, number six. So I bought the car for business, for running my business, and for which is doing ride share. Uh, and all the great features and everything I've talked about leading up to this point has been really, really cool. It's really been helpful for my business. Uh, like I said, it's got some creature comforts and stuff that I really enjoy about the car and everything else. But for those of y'all that have followed my channel for a while, you know about me and motorcycles. Uh, I've also been in the cars and stuff for years. So I've always really enjoyed, you know, racing and riding fast and uh, being able to you know, ride motorcycles fast, drive cars fast, and always in safe manners and always in Mexico. So we have made a trip to Mexico. We have uh, come to one of our little test areas that we come to down here in Mexico. And we're going to talk about one of my favorite things about this car. So my favorite thing about this car that I like so far is the handling of this car and the way it handles, the way it drives. So anyways, let's uh, switch this thing right here over to sport mode and show y'all a little bit of what I'm talking about. So now that we've got it in sport mode, it, uh, it gets more aggressive the steering gets a little bit more tighter the suspension gets a little tighter and everything about it handles really really good uh, so we're able to you know take it to the twisties here a little fun little spot right here i've wrecked right here before on my motorcycle But yeah, this is a fun little spot here. And here's what I love like about this thing right here. So before, in my video and other videos, people talked about the paddle shifters and how they really don't do anything because it's an ECVT transmission. Well, it does actually downshift. So I just dropped two gears right here. So it's a little bit lower and it's ready to pull quicker. And it's almost like it's always in the right RPM range as you come out of the corner and you're able to accelerate. So that's one of the things I really enjoy about it. But like I said, it really handles very good. And there's a, a few little S turns coming through here that we're about to come up on here. So I rode through here on motorcycles and pickup trucks and everything else probably a good, I don't know, 30 or 40 different times. So I know this road right here pretty good but we're not gonna push it too hard or anything like that right there. But we're just gonna enjoy ourselves here and talk about this thing right here. Like I said, it handles really good, comes out of this corner, accelerates good, and then it brakes really good. And sometimes I've noticed, it seems sometimes that is when you're coming through these curves that it uh, seems to do a little bit of trail braking for you as you're coming through it. But there it went right there. So it just kind of braked a little bit as it's going to the corner. And I don't know if it's something that the car notices, uh, but it does also show on the dash sometimes, and I can't really show you that right now, but it does show on the dash sometimes that you're coming into curvy areas. So I don't know if it knows the road and it's sensing it or you know what it is. Uh, but like I said, this is like really kind of fun, like I said, to drive this car. And I'm just kind of pacing through here. Uh, but I can show you, like I said, in some of my past videos, uh, me even taking the same road on motorcycles and stuff. Uh, and, you know, much faster pace. So as we're coming through here, though, like now, I'm just trying to fill the road out, make sure it's good and safe and stuff, too, because sometimes it gets a little bit gravelly back in here, depending on how much it's rained lately. 
and right now you know it's rained here recently pretty heavily in the past couple of weeks so sometimes it gets a little bit worse back in here but right now it's pretty good there's a good little straight we'll lay off into it and this thing here just pulls really good and you come into this corner here break for it a little bit but it just does good and now it's right back where it needs to be at the pull so like i said this thing right here is just really really one of the best things about you know this car for being what it is it's not a race car it's just a family car but i can drop down you know a couple of rp or a couple of shift points and it's ready to pull out of this corner right here and maybe this right here is one of the benefits to the xse though is it's got the tighter suspension in it for you know it being the sport sporty mode of the camry but it's also got some really grippy tires on here like i said it's going through these corners and it's not like slipping the tires any at all so that's uh you know like i said one of the good things about it so i'm gonna drop down one right here as we're ready there's gonna be another left turn coming back out of this one here so we gotta switch it back around and slow on down this right here on a motorcycle is pretty tricky coming through here. But coming through this part right here, then we got some switchbacks through here. And this is where it kind of gets really fun out. So we're coming through here a little bit more. And one more for the road. And there we go. So anyways, we're going to slow it back down. That's my fun little section right there. That's one of my favorite sections coming through here in. Uh, but anyways, so <clears throat> that's going to be about it for the video. Like I said, I just wanted to show y'all this right here for my final thing. And I do have some things about the car, like I said, that I don't really like so much sometimes. Uh, and I'm working on that list as well. I'm probably going to put it together and wait maybe a, another week or two before I put that video up after this one right here gets uploaded and then once uh once I get uh you know this video here uploaded like I said I'll I'll probably drive the car a little bit more I'll start picking through some more things that I do like and don't like about the car like I said as far as even those things that I don't like they're like not world and there's nothing that I'm gonna be like oh I gotta have something totally different so it's nothing like that right there but there are some things that that do bother me about the car sometimes and so that list will be coming soon so anyways like i said i uh, appreciate all y'all everybody that's watched these videos in the past it's commented below if you got more questions and stuff always always feel free to you know comment below ask questions i can answer as many questions as i can for you uh, i'm not a mechanic i have worked on motorcycles can work on motorcycles and do stuff like that so a lot of y'all know that from my past i don't work on cars I don't know anything about this car much more than the simple little things that uh i know how mechanics work i know how the mechanics of the car work but i don't know like you know what all parts they use and what they changed from the past and what they got that's new and all that stuff i don't know any of that stuff and i really don't look into any of it and don't plan on looking at any of it i don't want to work on this car uh i'll just take it to the dealership and let them handle it because that's what i bought it for is real i bought it with a warranty and hopefully before the warranty's out anything that needs to be done to it's done to it and like i was saying there about the uh about the warranty like i said hopefully if anything ever happens to the car or whatever hopefully it's uh within the time of the warranty and i don't have to you know be out too much money or anything like that with their own getting anything repaired but with toyota's reliability hopefully we're not going to run into that issue any uh so anyways like I said, I appreciate all y'all for liking the video, subscribing to the channel and everything. The support I've garnered here in the past few weeks has uh, really been tremendous. Really, really much appreciate it. So if you can, like I said, like this video, share it out to your friends. Anybody that's looking to get one of these Toyota Camrys, they may be like, hey, I don't know about, you know, get the Camry. I'm not really into this car because, you know, it's not really sporty enough. And yeah, they kind of look sporty, but is it really? It handles pretty well. Uh, like I said, it's not a race car, not a camaro or mustang or anything that like that but there in those manners or whatever nissan you may have out there that's kind of a sports car it's none of those cars but for what it is it does everything you know pretty well and that's what i really enjoy about it so anyways appreciate it all y'all thanks for uh following the channel and like i said asking all the questions down in the comments below continue bringing those and i'll be happy to answer those so we're gonna be out y'all have a good one